<laughs> wow, it's been a while. What happened? Well, mostly, I got busy. Videos got stuck in development hell. Filming in my tiny dorm room, total non-starter. When I had to go through three revisions of a failed video, and it doesn't even come out, that just kind of saps my engagement. But, it's been a long time. It's been a whole year, in fact. Ever since I started, again. <laughs> it's like the third time I rebooted my channel. But, now we're gonna start. So, just so you know, I do owe you a Miyuki video. I didn't forget about this previous stuff I promised. All that stuff will get out eventually. But before I get to that, I want to start off with something small scale, you know, get back in the groove. And, you know, coming back to the YouTube arena, it's never easy. Because unless you're big, you're just a wannabe. Now, I'm going to admit that I don't really know a lot about wrestling. Because getting all sweaty in a mat is not really my thing. But since the OVA focuses around women's wrestling in particular, I figured I should do some research. Now for decades, women's wrestling was, and for a lot of people, still is, you would like women's American football, novelty at best, and pretty degrading at worst. In America, it wasn't uncommon to see really gimmicky contests like bra and panties matches, which I'm sure you can figure out what the point of it was. No one was taking this stuff seriously, but in Japan, totally different. Thanks to All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling, aka Zenjo, women's wrestling became somewhat mainstream, particularly after the beauty pair tag team of Maki Ueda and Jackie Sato formed in the late 70s and became pop icons. By the way, that name went on to inspire Dirty Pair. Anyways, women's wrestling being at its peak in the 80s with teams like the Crush Gals and Jumping Bomb Angels, that's actually their name by the way, having legions of fans, it seemed almost inevitable that an anime would be made about this, and AIC really delivered with this fun and energetic OVA. Our two leads, Miki and Eri, aren't anything groundbreaking. Miki's more of a tomboy and Eri's more feminine, but they got the mocks needed to take over after Ran and Sue of the Dream Team get their teeth kicked in by the heavy set Foxy ladies. But sheer determination isn't going to build them up fast enough, so after shoving up some dummy you picked on them, they began training with the Kido Corporation headed by Kido himself. But behind the scenes, there's more to meets the eye. You can tell the team behind us was having a lot of fun with all the animation references in the OVA. Not just other anime, but a lot of classic western cartoons as well. The wrestling itself is pretty decently choreographed and surprisingly brutal. It's nothing egregious, but I can certainly say I wasn't expecting to see someone's head get bit, I mean jeez. Anyways, after a match with the Foxy Ladies, with the first round seeing the wannabes getting absolutely destroyed, though their opponents did cheat, Second round sees their training kicking in as they get super strong only from the burnout right as they win. And they know something's up after this dork leaks that the test went well. So they head to Kaiju's headquarters and bust into his room, and after he just looks around for a while as his guards get beat up, he just tries to shoot Eri like three times, misses all of them, putting this one at point blank range, tries to escape. He eventually rides at Papa, which is some purple guy. He looks like Grimace on steroids, it's, I, I don't understand, but Kaiju gets tossed aside to take down Papa. A rescue ran and sued, only her papa to come back and seemingly kill Eri after falling out of a window, cause sure. Papa gets reduced to a bloody pulp, it's really brutal, but Eri just survives, no explanation, nothing, that's just how it ends. Overall, this is a fun little anime that, while a bit rough in some places, is well worth a watch if you want to see two wannabes punch above their weight. If you enjoyed this 80s nugget, leave a like let me know. Are you a fan of women's wrestling? I haven't really looked into it a lot, but it seems interesting. Or even subscribe so that the YouTube overlords can grace you with more weird stuff I look at. I'll talk to you all later. Take care.